I have worked in a number of areas which are always connected one way or another uh, with the question of how can we live with our differences across borders. Uh, you can ask about cooperation between states, but you can also ask about cooperation between peoples and citizens. The question for me is how do you make Europe work without uh, centralizing everything? without European citizens feeling they're losing control. And I've been saying this for about 15 years. Colonialism was an approach to the world uh, where it seemed fine to govern at a distance. This is how we can uh, define what colonialism in, or is our empire, to govern at a distance. And um, the problem is often Europeans still have it a bit in their DNA or they still have an impulse that it's kind of okay to govern others at a distance. To, and in fact, these days, we tend to do it even within the EU. So part of the question collectively for us is how do we, how do we uh, resist this temptation of governing at a distance, whether it's in the rest of the world or whether it's in the rest of Europe. That being said, it doesn't mean that Europe should retreat. Europe should be ambitious, make its mark in the world, try to change it for the better, whether it's the environment or trade or human rights, the rule of law. And indeed, I would argue that in order to be effective and change the world as we would like it to change, we need first to be self-reflective about who we are and how we relate to the world and really approach the world in terms of empowerment and in terms of shared leadership. Science Po.